Norlingden. Norlingden? Nor I can't say it. Got here yesterday at about four o'clock and uh, Hannah and John picked me up from the train station. It was a really long train ride, but it was beautiful to see the countryside as I went past. We went to a pub and we met up with a couple of people, uh, two girls that then had stayed with them for two weeks when travelling, one of whom was Hannah's niece and also a girl who did exchange with them. She spent a year living with them when she was in high school. Well, they all spoke English very well, which was fantastic. Um, after the pub, we went out to dinner at that place there and we had, I had something that's apparently traditionally Bavarian. This, this is it. Okay. Malerschnitzel. Really delicious. It was sort of like a piece of pork meatloaf that had been fried with an egg on top. Leber case. Um, Leber case. Leber case. And there was a potato salad, but it was done with vinegar instead of anything mayonnaise -y, and so it was really nice. I really enjoyed it. And then after dinner, I went up to my hotel, which is right next door. So this is my hotel. I have three flights of stairs to walk up. So this is my hotel room. Check out the little sunken gabled window. Nice. That was the room I stayed in, right across from this big fancy church that is being renovated. I can tell you they started the renovations at about seven o'clock this morning. But it's a beautiful day and Norlingden is a beautiful town. It has really lovely old architecture, you know, that really quintessential European stuff. And they're currently getting rid ready for, in two weeks, they're having a big festival. So they're setting up um, all sorts of stairs for the parade and seating and Apparently all the men are growing their beards for proper reenactment. So I'm just waiting now for John and Hannah, Detlev and Phyllis. And we're going to go around today. So that'll be fun. Norlington is a city that is totally surrounded by a medieval wall that is completely intact. You can walk the whole circuit of the town without touching the ground. So Hannah and John took us on a tour of this wall. Hello, Hello <laughs> If he did something bad, he would have been thrown into that tower. Oh! The new bastion, uh, Bastai, um, in this area. That's that the good. new one. Okay. So it was only been built in... Um, 1607. Oh, that's so new. <laughs> <laughs> a bus die is where they sort of a storage area, and the, yes. this, this bus die here, they used to store um, gunpowder. Okay, and it's just changed. <laughs> yeah, it was just a Catholic used to, and then it went back to Protestant. Oh. Originally, <laughs> soldiers' cottages. So okay. In the Middle Ages, if someone attacked, the soldiers were right on duty almost here. Oh. Instead of having to go and get them from in there somewhere, the really soldiers lived along the yeah. floor. <laughs> My father got very incensed, so he always ran after them. So when we got older, of course, my father would run one way to a tower and we'd run the other way to a tower to make sure we <laughs> intercept them. Oh. And there were often boys around, because we, we had a family of four, five girls. So there was a lot of boys around, they were teasing us. These towers were built right around the town so that people could kind of defend the, uh, yeah. the wall. And it had to be built within line, line of sight. Yeah. So you could actually see that. Because so what they've done, the river actually got, runs around town, the original river, and they've dug a canal to go through the town to make sure that the town would not run out of water. And they don't have money. See, all the rivers in Europe are basically still stuck. Oh my goodness, that building is just a tree. It's lovely, isn't it? Würzig, rund und riesig frisch, kommt es schäumend auf den Tisch. Sanft gebraut entsteht es hier im Riesensaal sein Heimatbier. Get paid a crate a week 
as well, part of your pay. Each worker here gets a crate of beer a week. My best mate from Tumut at the time came for our wedding to be my best man. And he arrived about six weeks early. So he got a job here for about three or four weeks before the wedding. <laughs> so he could supply the beer for the wedding. Yeah. So if you want to increase your living space, you don't increase it on the bottom because that means you have to pay extra taxes because your square meter rate increases. So what they do, that as they go the up, they, they bring out the level so you've actually got more, more space up the top. In yeah. France, they had a yeah. tax on windows. And so what they did, the people walled up their windows. In villages, you see only two windows, the rest are walled up. The windows were a sign of your wealth. A group of enemies were sort of uh, around the town, had yeah. closed in the town, and uh, they were getting a little bit sick of waiting, so they paid somebody money in order to keep the gate open at night, yeah. so they could actually enter the oh, gate. Yeah, yeah. But a pick got loose through the night from one of the farmers along here, oh, yeah. and actually went to the gate, it was rubbing on the gate, and you could hear, they could hear the oink oink and the, and the squeaking of the gate. Yeah. So they discovered the gate was open and closed the gate. It's the pig that because saved the, the town. So what is this soup, Hannah? This is made out of liver. Okay. And, and what's it called? Liver spätzle soup. It's like a pie. After that we went to town hall to meet the mayor. Norlingdon is the sister city of Wagga. Norlingdon seems pretty happy to, any time an Australian turns up, welcome them with open arms. So the mayor happily cleared some time in his day to meet with us, and he served us orange juice with, I think, sparkling wine mixed in. It's exactly the same as what we had. We were sitting around here with our guests. Yeah. Then we climbed to the tower of the church in the centre of the town the one that was being renovated across the road from my hotel. It had over 300 steps, and the view when we got to the top was incredible. You could see all of Norlingdon really easily, right up to the wall. Apparently you can see over 10 towns from standing at the top of that spire on a clear day. It all looked so incredibly Disney and European, it was nothing like anything I've ever seen at home and it was just absolutely beautiful. Okay. Yeah. Yes! I'm taking a video of the arch. Yeah. It's a Lego Millennium Falcon. This is my second ice cream of the day. Yeah, I forgot about it. Here we go. I forgot about it. Oh, Charles, I can't do it. This is the small So, what is this again? Step it. Find it. Hand it something. Pork. And the bone and the speck. Thank you. <laughs> she likes you. <laughs> 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 <laughs>